Welcome back to module 2 on classical geometric partitioning of a particular anchor into some ratio and still in the domain of classical geometric construction of full lamp anchors in general. My name is Kimuya Alex and in this video I'm going to show how to construct an anchor of 72 degrees, how to generate an anchor of 24 degrees and how to divide the given anchor or for example an, that angle of 72 degrees into some portions like 6 equal portions. Now straight away I go into the GeoGebra software and start the construction. As usual, I need to prepare the working tools, or the tools to operate or perform uh, the construction with. And I need the bisector and the compass. That's okay. I need to do some geometric transformation. And I'm ready to start. I'm ready to get started. That is uh, to have the baseline of my point A, my point B that way. Now for this demo I need to be clean. Well, any point, the position of the point does not matter provided a straight line can go through the two points. But for good view of this presentation, I need to have the coordinates well placed. Now that's my baseline. I'm going to create a point C that should be equidistance distance between these two points. As I've done the other constructions, that's how I generate the point C. My point C is this point of intersection between the two points or uh, sorry the two circles that's point C I'm going to use the straight line tool to join the point C to point B that way next I'm going to perform the bisection of this code and I want to generate some other two points that's the point D this is the point of intersection point D and this point E I have the two points I'll go further and bisect and call ED B that way and I get that other point of intersection to the bisector and the curve BE this point is point F I'll, I'll go ahead and perform some more bisection of the ankle EDF that way so that I generate or create a point G that's the point of intersection with the bisector and the curve EF for me to accurately label the point G I need to do some magnification I zoom in the figure that way and carry the labeling tool from that toolbox to label this as point G. I slightly zoom in, or sorry, zoom out the figure for good operations or for you know, doing some distant constructions. So next I want to generate an anchor of 24, but for me to get 24 I must have the 32 degrees. What I'm going to do is to create 32 again as I've done in the previous constructions in this way. That's my point H. Now I'm using the canvas tool again I carry the code DG. That way I change its appearance into a different color. I pick that. Let me pick this. I now zoom in the figure so that I can accurately level a point I. That gives me that two degrees that way. I zoom out and move the figure this way. Now having 32, it is easy to get 24 degrees. I'll bisect the 32 to give me 16 at that point. Here I having I'm having my 16 degrees. I change the color into this. I love working with different colors for good visualization. I go ahead and bisect the 16 to give me 80 degrees. The simple mathematics and thanks to the founder of this approach. I thank myself, that's so funny. Now I take the difference between the angle IAB and the angle KAB. KAB is 80 degrees. You can measure that to be sure. And IAB is 32 degrees. Now the difference between these two angles is 24 degrees. I use the compass tool to help me carry the code KI that way to this point. I want to generate 72. Having that anchor in sorry that arc in place and I'll give it that color a uniform color. Sorry. So I'll zoom in the figure slightly 
that I can label this point as point F. Now zoom out for me to perform the other steps of construction. I'm again going to use the same magnitude. That is point uh, I pick from L to B and with point L as my center, I make another arc that I make that point there. That's an angle 48. Again, I give this curvature the same color and using the same radius, LB and M as my center, I make another arc that cuts this curve BC externally the point N. I'll give this curve this uh, circle the same color because they hold the same property. Now I zoom in the figure that way. I join point M to sorry N to A using a straight line and change its appearance into this. What that means is Angle NAB should be 72 degrees. NAB should be 72 degrees, and that, that's it. We have the 72. That shows we can, sorry, we have Angle LAB is 24. Angle MAL is also 24. And we have trisected 72. This kind of geometric uh, construction is so arithmetical that uh, it does not feature when you talk of trisection of a particular angle, I mean, an arbitrary angle. But again, the mode of proof can be employed to prove that one is able to trisect an arbitrary angle. Now, since I'm able to construct 24, I'm able to construct even six. I'll just need to bisect the ankle here, L, A, B, to give me 12. You can check that. Bisect ankle L, A, B. Sorry, I need to correctly pick the points. I start again with point L, I go to A and B, and I get a bisector here. I can also give it same color that way. I clear this. I measure this point, this ankle, ankle O. A, B, it's 12 degrees. I bisect the same angle to give me six. That way, I also give this same color. I get six. Uh, okay, I can do the magnification from here. So that I label this as point P. I then measure angle P. A, B, and here I have six. I can further zoom in, sorry. I can do some uh, more bisection. I want to get three. I bisect P, A, B. I give it same blue color. I label this. I get three degrees. I want to measure again that angle. Very interesting here. Simple constructions. I get three degrees. I can uh, go ahead and bisect a three to give me 1.5. It is simple that using Alex method we can create all the whole number angles, their multiples and submultiples. I get that. Uh -huh. I label this as R, and it's not well placed. The point R. Delete, label again. I measure the angle R, A, B, get 1.5. We can magnify the accuracy to see the appearance of these angles. Up to five decimal places, I'm getting 1.50006, 3 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 sorry, 2, 3. So you see the variation here, it's very interesting. The bigger angles, I'm getting 72.0027, 8.003, 32 one Simple, the most uh, appealing construction in the universe. So that's how to generate some of those angles using Alex method. 
thank you for viewing in the next video i'm going to show how to dissect an angle of uh, magnitude 150 i want to go now beyond 90 or i can pick an angle such as uh, which one and 47 it's a 147 143 yes some of three of three i would uh bisect 147 i mean trisect 147 that's what i want to do in the next video thank you for viewing please remember to subscribe